Hi, my name is Frances Tang with ID8 TV. Today we are here at the V3 convention with Connie Lim. Connie, can you tell us a little bit about what you do? Yes, I am a singer-songwriter and um, I travel around and just try to spread positive energy with music. Yeah. So how did you get started in that industry? Um, uh, in the, with music, I started writing since I was really young. Mm -hmm. And then with the industry, I decided, I was studying at UC Berkeley mm -hmm. to be either a, a lawyer, doctor, or yeah. lawyer, or doctor. <laughs> Those are my two choices. Of course. And then I decided um, I wanted to pursue music. Mm -hmm. um, and so my junior year, I decided to move back to LA and pursue it. So how is it being in the singing and songwriting industry in LA? Um, it is very enriching every day. Like I feel like I'm learning something every day, mm -hmm. um, and like there's no choice but to like have self improvement uh -huh. to survive in the industry because people start petering off if they don't like want to improve on their weaknesses and stuff. So, um, and I love songwriting, meeting new people. So, so being an Asian American female, do you find it extra difficult? Do you find that you have any other hurdles that say other singer songwriters might not have? Um, yeah, I think there's a bit of pigeonholing, um, but I use it to my advantage. I kind of try to stay, like I pretend that it's not something that they view. If I, if I am, because I feel like people are mirrors, so uh -huh. if I reflect like um, an expectation that they're gonna view me uh -huh. as like just an Asian, then that's that's most likely gonna happen. But I just like kind of we engage at another level, and it rarely comes into like conversations unless it's like a super commercial thing, mm -hmm. like like doing TV shows and reality TV shows. That's yeah. like a huge focus, which I wasn't comfortable with at first, but I think it's good to embrace it as long as it's framed in like a respectful and like positive light you know so do you have any uh, people who inspire you or who kind of helped you along the way to see things the way that you do now um yeah my uh piano teacher um she's 96 now and she still teaches three kids a day for three days a week she still drives and still gets her hair done and you know, she's an inspiration because yeah. she's just like full of light and yeah. So is that also where your content inspiration comes from or do you? Content inspiration just changes like as I live. I mean, it's mostly just stories that like I meet like different people like meeting you or different. Everything creates an impression. So when I first graduated Berkeley, like my material is very intellectual and like about like AIDS in Africa or different like academic subjects. But now the topics are about people and like uh -huh. following the passion even if it's hard and just knowing that nothing is impossible kind of that's that's kind of my my shtick right now is like nothing's impossible we can do it that's good that's really interesting so if you were to give our viewers any advice about just tackling the singing and songwriting industry being a minority and a female yeah. what would you tell them i would say um, just do do like what's comfortable like be um, very in tune with the gut and if it doesn't feel right then I think like it's definitely time to s take a step back and logically analyze it because usually artists are very emotional and so I've learned to like like manage that so that I can like see the business for what it is yeah